Hello Capricorn, this is your monthly for May. I know I am late guys, but I am here now. And we're going to go ahead and get this crack a lack in, okay? Alright, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Love messages for May. What message do we have for Capricorn in love? For May 2019, we're going to do a Celtic cross, guys. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. The energy that's around you guys. Just crossing you. <clears throat> past issues. Recent past there. Let's see what's crowning you. What you're thinking about here. Move some of these down. What's coming in for you? How you're viewing the situation there? The influence? Okay. The hopes or fears? And then we have the overall right there. Alright, let's see what we've got, guys. I need to put a cloth or something on here. I always have a hard time. Okay, what's around you right now is two of wands. Hmm. And this is really not being sure of which way to go. So it's like you're just kind of being still, not making a decision, um, and not really going anywhere. Okay. This is like leaning more towards one thing than the other, but still not doing it. Needing to make a decision on which way to go, what to do. Okay. This is either you or somebody that is around you, okay? This is almost like buying time and maybe waiting for somebody else to make a decision here, okay? What's crossing you is a Ten of Cups. I feel there may be an Aries, Piscean individual that is significant for you guys, um, but there's something I feel like either you or someone else, could be both of you, are at this, this point where you know that there is something that you want to do or they want to do that would make you extremely happy, okay? But there has not been, been a, um, a decision made to act upon it is the thing. So it's like, you know, somebody is in limbo here. Okay? Somebody's focused, I feel like, too much on the past. Now let's see what the underlying issue is here. Three of Wands. Hmm. This is waiting for your shifts to come in. This is, this is basically using the law of attraction putting something out there into the universe and waiting to reap the benefits of, of your actions or non-action even okay so I feel like somebody here and this is Aries energy I feel the strong Aries in your reading um, somebody's very conflicted about waiting, basically. Okay, um, I think somebody's going back and forth about you know, you know whether or not they should make a move or whether they should wait on the other person to make a move, but there's somebody that's restricting themselves here. They're like in limbo. And I feel like they're restricting themselves due to something that happened in the past. So let's see what's going on in the recent past here. Queen of Swords. This person's been hurt. This, this person's been hurt. This is like, you know, a divorcee. Okay. Um, this person's waiting, I feel on someone else. They feel like they should not be the one to make a move. 
Again, this could be you or it could be the person that is significant to you, that you're thinking about. Um, somebody scorned here. I don't feel like they are hurtful or mean, but I do feel like there's something that this person wants to know. There's something that you guys want to know, if this is you. Waiting to hear the truth before acting upon something. Okay. Now, what's crowning you guys here? Look at that. This is what's on your brain. The Ace of Swords. Knowing the truth. Feeling victorious because it's like, I don't need anybody to clarify anything for me because I know. But I don't think this is knowing. I think this is, I think this is wanting somebody to reveal something here. Wanting for somebody to be honest for, I'm hearing the first time. Just be honest. Just be open. And then maybe we can start over. We can start anew. This is airy fire here. When this truth is revealed, then we can act. When this truth is revealed, we can move forward. The happiness comes when the truth is revealed. The happiness comes when a conversation is had. There's, there's somebody that's wanting to have a conversation here. And I feel that both of you are basically waiting on each other. This Ten of Cups is in between you. It's like waiting on each other. Wanting to have a conversation. But nobody really making a move here. What's coming in for you guys is the world. This is an accomplishment. This is lessons being learned. Starting over. Hmm. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy here. But this is also not just starting over in in your own life, but I feel like this is like the energy that is coming in for you is exterior to you. There, you have no control over this. Um, there is there's going to be an opportunity for you guys. I feel opening up. To reconnect to start over here with the person that you're thinking about but I feel that is going to be very challenging because I feel that both of you are waiting on each other to make a move to speak because I'm feeling that maybe you guys have not spoken um, for a while. I'm feeling that you're in your own separate corners for some reason. That is like crickets. <laughs> okay. That's the best way I can put it. Let's see. Are you viewing this situation? Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting. This is waiting. This is also being hopeful. Somebody's been like... I feel almost tempting the other person. Whether this is you or whether this is the person that you're thinking about. Um, if not both of you. Like throwing each other like little seeds. To try to tempt the other person to reach out. Hmm. The influence here is 
the emperor. Both of you. Both of you are very strong, I feel. Very strong individuals. Um, Aries is very strong in your reading. Aries, Taurus, I feel Gemini energy um, is, is present for a lot of you. Okay. You've got somebody that is is um, very strong. I feel like you guys are very strong as well. I feel like Taurus is strong here too. But um, I don't see this person budging. So if this is an Aries or a Taurus individual, I do not see this person budging. I feel like this person is waiting on you guys, but I also get the sense that you guys are, are waiting on them. Um, but I definitely don't see them like, you know, making a move towards you. I do feel like they would, they would reciprocate something though, is a thing. Okay. Definitely feel like that. <clears throat> Let's see what your hopes or fears are. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. <sighs> I know. I know. Your hope is that things would change between the two of you here. And it's very likely that it will. Very likely that it will. The energy again is such that. Um, hang on, guys, because I don't know what this is doing. Um, the energy is such that um, it, it's, it's trying to pull you guys together to resolve something, to wrap something up, to complete something. Okay. Um, I don't know who did what. Only you guys know your own situation, so if this is resonating for you and you feel like, you know, maybe there's something that you want to say to this individual, I feel like, you know, that would definitely change this situation for the better here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's see what the overall is for you guys here. The Six of Pentacles, look at that. An equal give and take, an equal exchange of energy, receptiveness. Not only receptiveness, but giving as well. Give and take. Equal give and take. In a relationship. Again, Taurus energy here. So, I don't see your reading as bad at all. I see it actually as very progressive. And I do see that there is major change that is, is happening around you guys. Um, and a lot of times, things will change if you kind of go with the flow of the universe okay guys so I'm gonna leave you with that and I will be speaking with you guys soon bye now